Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Look at how much came off. That's amazing. Look at that. Wow. Welcome to Detailing with Mark. Today I'm going to be removing the sticky glue on the door handle of my Saab 93. If you own a German or an Italian car, you're probably very familiar with what's called sticky buttons. So European cars typically put this nice rubberized coating on top of plastic. It gives it kind of a matte premium finish. It's soft to the touch, a little bit tacky. The problem is after years in the heat, either sitting in the sun or just warm climates, as you can see, the glue begins to degrade. And this doesn't just happen with buttons. My car has plenty of sticky buttons, believe me, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna replace those. It also happens to the other trim pieces like this door handle. The whole thing is coated with this rubberized glue surface and you can see the heat has made it peel off. It just looks terrible. So what I'm gonna do is test two different methods for removing this now and make it look a whole lot cleaner. Here's everything you'll need for this job. Two solo cups, isopropyl alcohol, Goo Gone, two paint brushes, a plastic razor blade set, and of course, paper towels to clean up what will surely be a big mess. So there are a thousand and one ways to do this. If you search on YouTube or Google, you'll find people that have various different methods from Goo Gone to alcohol to makeup removing wipes. It all seems to work well with varying degrees of effort. So today I'm gonna to show you my ways. The first is with Goo Gone, which is a very safe way to remove glue. It is a bit messy. And the second one's with isopropyl alcohol, which alcohol is a solvent and it works well at dissolving glues and paint and all kinds of things. The problem is it's very harsh. So you wanna be really careful with alcohol around the leather here and the buttons. It will discolor or damage it. So I'll show you both methods and you decide which one is right for you. Maybe you have goo gone at home, maybe you don't. If you have alcohol, you can use that method. So I wanna show you which one's more effective and less messy and quickest, most importantly. All right, first up is Goo Gone. So I've put a little bit of Goo Gone at the bottom of a solo cup here. The first step is literally just to saturate the door handle with it. So this stuff is very messy and it's kind of like water. So be very careful, just kind of gently brush it on and we're gonna follow the directions which say to put it on and wait about five to 10 minutes for really stubborn, sticky messes, which I would say this is. So let's do one coat here and then Give it a minute, we'll do another coat, then we'll get to scraping and see how we did. All right, this has been sitting for about three minutes. I'm curious what we're in for here. So let's just start into it. Now these are plastic, obviously, these razor blades, but still, they're, they're very sharp, so be careful with your trim. So we're just gonna very gently kind of scrape at it. Look at this. Look at that. Wow, look at how much came off. That's amazing. Look at that. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, this is gonna make a huge mess, but okay, let's just slowly keep going. It's actually kind of, uh, kind of peaceful, therapeutic in a way. Wow, this literally is just coming right off with almost no pressure at all. Look at that, that's amazing. This will be a mess though. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit here. Let's see. So, <laughs> this did pretty well. Now it looks, of course, absolutely horrible, but we made a lot of progress here. So you can see this here where I'm rubbing, this is just pure plastic, which looks good. And then the rubberized surface remains. So I think we got about half of it off just in one pass, which took really no more than 60 seconds, maybe two minutes. Let's coat it again, and then do another pass of scraping. And I would say maybe two coats, probably three coats, and we'll be done, which is amazing. So Goo Gone is, is working really, really, really well. I, I had hoped it would, it's just messy, and here I am getting it all over the leather too. Be careful about that, because um, we will have to take this off and I won't use alcohol for it. I will use a, uh, an interior lather solution with a brush and get that off, but it's very messy as you can see. So just be careful. I'll let that sit for maybe two, three minutes. 
hit it with a scraper. Okay, coat number two of Goo Gone has been sitting for about three minutes. Let's start scraping. Let's do a brush off here. You can see how much is coming off. Just incredible amount coming off here. Gosh, what a mess this is. Holy cow. I'm gonna have to do some serious cleanup work after. So that's after the second pass. I mean, look at that. This is almost all plastic, a couple traces of glue. This stuff works magic. It's just messy and very greasy and oily. It kind of, it's hard to get off anything, but we'll get it off. Okay, so kind of one last coat here. Let's just put it on some of the areas where the glue has not moved, like here. There's all these little patches that may be hard to see all over the place, but for the most part, it came off, which is great. Okay, and what may be our final pass of adhesive removal, I basically just soaked one of the towels in Goo Gone, and we're just gonna do some aggressive scrubbing just to get some of these areas where the, the handle is curved. The razor blade isn't very good, for example, here where it's curved, so that's where the paper towel comes in. So let's give it a shot, and hopefully this finishes it off and we're done. All right, let's do a final wipe here. <laughs> this looks pretty good. Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed. So... Okay, so what do we have here? There's all kinds of little fibers from the paper towel, but what we essentially have is, oh, looks like we still got some down here. Let's take care of that. All right, we have a pretty fantastic result here. So I know I said be careful with the rubbing alcohol, but here's what I'm gonna do. Rubbing alcohol is a solvent and it gets rid of sticky or gooey things pretty well. I'm just gonna do a quick wipe down of the handle with rubbing alcohol. And then after that, I'm gonna do the whole panel, including the leather with a, uh, an interior upholstery cleaner with the brush, make sure the leather is, uh, is all cleaned up. And then we're literally done. I'm really happy with this, it looks beautiful. Look at that, beautiful. It's like brand new, beautiful. All right, final step here is to apply some very neutral interior fabric cleaner. I happen to use Ammo Lather, great product, use whatever you like. This will get the remaining goo gone out of every little crack and crevice, and I've got a brush as well to make sure we get every little bit of it out of there. Be careful obviously spraying around the window buttons. What I like to do is just spray in the brush itself. That way there's not too much overspray in there. And there you have it. One de-rubberized sticky button fixed door handle. I think it looks great. There's still some, as you can see here, there's some discoloration up here. It's not glue. It just maybe is where sun hit the plastic or something. I'm not exactly sure, but um, definitely not glue. We got all the glue off of there, but I think it looks really, really good. It's not perfect, but looks a heck of a lot better than all that melted glue all over the place. It's got a clean, shiny look, and while not originally intended that way from the factory, I think it looks really good, really clean. I think the average person will never know there was sticky glue all over this thing. It looks really good. So unfortunately now I have to do the other side, but it's a fair bit of work. But as you guys can see here, this, this is taking me like 15, 20 minutes, a small amount of time to fix what I think is a really big annoying problem. So time well spent. Now let's get over to the other door and we're just gonna do rubbing alcohol this time and see how that goes and if we need to call in the lifeline and use the goo gone. All 
All right, now we're over on the passenger side. Same exact condition, the door handle is pretty ugly. Now we're gonna try just the rubbing alcohol method. Before we begin, I'll say again that rubbing alcohol is a solvent, so be careful when you're using it around trim. If you're doing just buttons, I would be especially careful because most buttons have images and some are painted on there. Rubbing alcohol could take off the painted image on your button, so be very careful if you're doing buttons with just alcohol. Rub very, very gently and use a, use a rag or something, paper towels or a microfiber towel, very gently on the buttons. I think that will, uh, will work best, but again, be careful. Okay, as you can see, I've got some rubbing alcohol in a cup here. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the Goo Gone and just brush this on very carefully, I might add. So give it a little bit of time to work. You can do this with a rag as well. I happen to like this method where you brush it on so it really gets to sit on there and do its thing and then use the scraper. It just gives it so much more cutting power, but do whatever you like, obviously. All right, let's get to work. So, wow, this seems to be working <laughs> even better than the Goo Gone. Look at that. Wow. Holy cow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. That just comes literally right off. Holy cow. This is a very easy job over here. All right, so pretty amazing result. I'm gonna use a microfiber towel here that's super dirty. I'm gonna throw away anyways. We'll clear away some of this debris. It is a mess. Look at this. What a result. Wow, look at that. Just after one wipe, my gosh, it's almost all gone. Now I see some scratching and discoloration here. Hopefully when we go through the whole process that will uh, be removed, but this worked out even better than the Goo Gone. Look at how quickly it all just flaked right off. That was amazing. So let's do this. Let's do another coat or two and then scrape away, see what's left. Here we go. Coat number two. All right, let's do our second pass. I also soaked the blade in rubbing alcohol just for good measure. Why not, right? Okay, so now that this is done, first of all, this was way faster than the Goo Gone. We can see it's all clear here. A little bit of glue, I think this is glue, here and a little bit here. So let's just quickly spot treat those areas. Get back to it. All right. we. We got the bulk of it, which is pretty fantastic. So let's just do a final wipe. I think we've done all we can with the scraper. Some of this is just discoloration and I'm not sure how much we can do here. So let's just do a final wipe with alcohol and I think we'll just call it done after that. Okay. The alcohol is drying. You can see quite a bit extra came off when we did the cloth wipe, which is great. There's some discoloration here. I'm not gonna bother with that, I think. We will just call this done. And I think we did quite well here. I really do. All that's left now is to spray some lather on there, agitate it with a brush, wipe it with a microfiber towel, and we're done. As with before, I'm going to do the immediate area around here just in case there's any collateral damage just to make sure the whole door panel looks nice. All right, that is what I call a result. Very clean, very smooth, just like the other one. I would say the time investment was actually similar. It was a little bit quicker to do it with alcohol, but I think both methods work really well. So obviously use whatever you've got and you'll get a result like this. 
in both methods it's it's helpful to use alcohol especially with goo gone at the end just to kind of wipe off the excess goo gone and all the black junk and rubber that kind of got lodged everywhere so there you have it my method for fixing sticky door handles in a Saab or really any European car that has the rubberized coating over plastic I would say all said and done for two door handles it was about 40 minutes of work so not too bad so I know what you're saying, hey, this looks great, but it looks like cheap plastic and doesn't match the rest of the door. I want the factory look. Okay, you can do that. Simply pull this interior trim piece off. You can use a screwdriver here, or I recommend an interior trim piece removal kit. Pop this off, sand it down or scuff it in some way to rough up the texture. Spray rubber coating or Plasti Dip, whatever you prefer. Do a few coats, let it dry, pop it back on, and you'll have a piece that looks exactly like it did from the factory. The downside of those is they don't last forever, so you may very well be doing this exact job again in three to five years, depending on how much your car sits in the sun. So um, I may or may not do that with this. I, I actually kind of like this uh, clean plastic look here, but I'm thinking about doing a Plasti Dip to return it to factory. Just maybe, maybe. We'll see what I do. But if you want to do that, you're certainly welcome to. I may choose just to leave it uh, bare as is. So thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, I always appreciate a like or a comment on the video. And of course, subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future updates. I've got a lot of good stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.